If you can't explain it, you don't understand it. Supposedly Einstein said that. Whether he said it or not, it holds some truth. To learn something, you have to understand it. And to understand it, you have to be able to explain it to an extent. No one expects a thesis or a PhD in everything. Hey friends, my name is Ams Chowdhury. I'm a medical doctor, the co-host of the Scrubbed In podcast and the co-founder of Peer, where you can learn from your favourite educators. Okay, so how do I assess whether I've understood something that I'm learning? Three steps to this. Number one, apply Feynman's technique. Can you explain it? So it's a bit cliche now with over a hundred YouTubers talking all about it. I've even made a video on this previously too, but it's true. Feynman was considered a great teacher because he could take something, understand it and explain it to others incredibly well. So briefly, it involves you identifying the topic to learn or checking on. Narrow it down to something specific. Make it a question like, can you explain why the electrical activity of the heart produces PQRS T waves on an ECG? Rather than something broad like, can you explain an ECG? Break it down and explain it. Some say to a child, but how you can get a child to understand everything is beyond us all sometimes, but explaining it will bring up gaps. And from the explanations, you'll start to notice them, be aware of them. Don't just jump over it and pretend you know. Go back and fill those in by referring back to the learning material. And then once again, simplify and explain. That cycle will refine and hone your understanding. The next step to check whether you've understood something is to ask the question, do you know where it fits in the bigger picture? The bigger picture becomes important to how you process the content you're learning. We talked about encoding in a previous video. The bigger picture strengthens our encoding whilst learning. I'll give you an example. You can learn all about the pituitary gland and how it releases certain hormones and what happens when certain bits fail and how patients can then experience certain symptoms. But when you put it into the bigger picture of it being only one part of the puzzle and interacting with other organs such as the kidneys and the adrenal glands, you begin to understand how the hormones secreted bring about a certain action. You can work it out. This makes it easier on the memory because you're not just factually learning, you're starting to understand what, how and why. Finally, step three. If you can do this, you definitely understand the content. Can you use the knowledge that you've learned to solve problems? Do questions, assessments, quizzes. If you're a medic, go out and see patients and ask yourself, why is what I'm seeing happening? Why? If a patient's presenting with symptoms of X, can you explain the processes that cause it? And then can you work out with what you know and understand how you would treat it? This step is simple really. It's whether you can apply what you've learned and understood. If you can't work out why in a heart attack you get an abnormal ECG pattern, like an ST elevation, or better, if you can't work out what's happening from an abnormal ECG, you don't understand it. Go back, relearn it, apply Feynman's technique, see where it fits in the bigger picture and see if you can solve multiple different problems with it. There you have it. Three steps to know if you understand something. Ask, can you explain it? Ask, do you know where it fits in the bigger picture? And ask, can you use what you know to solve problems? Thanks for watching. If this was a beneficial video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be talking about how to prepare and plan to study. Thanks for watching.